just doing house things today. I went to see some floorboards. And now we're gonna go and see some more furniture. So I'm feeling a little bit under the weather today because we went to a wedding last night and I really just don't feel like champagne agrees with me. <laughs> that amount. Not in the amount that we drank it anymore, that I drank it anyway. So that's why we're very quiet today. What should we have for lunch today? We could have sushi or we could have pork a rolls. pork roll. Bang. Pork roll. Sold. Sold. Bummy. Done. This is my favorite pork roll place. Yum. I already started eating it because I was so hungry. It's such a mess. I think I got some pork. I haven't had a paddle pop in so many years. God, which one was your favorite? Chocolate. What was your favorite? I think usually chocolate, but every now and then I like the rainbow one. Oh my god, I love the rainbow one as well. Do you know that the rainbow one is actually just caramel flavor? Really? Yeah. That's what rainbow is. That. Rainbow is caramel. It's just colored caramel. Yeah. This couch is really nice. It's a lot higher than the frozen. You still sit back, but it's not too much. You know how that whole thing? It's actually the perfect. Yeah, but exactly. Not, exactly. Like a lot of you so like you're not like But you're still really comfortable. You can still easily do this in the lounge. Yeah, or you just have that. Yeah. So we're trying to decide between these couples at the moment. I'm sure over this. What do you think? <laughs> I think we should go for green. green. We all know green's my favorite color right now. That's so true. Apple. Apple. <laughs> and then I also really like this one, or also this one. Guys, I love this couch. I feel like this is exactly what I was looking for. And here it is. I have three beverages going this morning because it is just that kind of start to the week. I've just made a mixed berry, banana, spinach, protein powder, and peanut butter smoothie this morning it actually tastes pretty good you can't even taste the spinach it mainly just tastes like banana and berries i did a really bad job at vlogging over the weekend because i was just really hungover and i just was finding it really hard to concentrate on the furniture as well as filming so sorry about that but i did want to provide a little bit of a conclusion to the couch saga so i think that we're going to go with one of those two couches that you guys just saw probably in the scene before this one. We'll probably decide this week which one we end up going with. They're actually both made in Melbourne, so they don't have as long a lead time as some of the other couches that we were looking at that were coming from overseas. I think that they said it was going to be about like six to eight weeks to make the couch. Um, so we'll probably order it this week. Just before we order the couch, we want to make 100% sure it's gonna go with the floorboards that we decide on. So we're gonna try and decide on the floorboards the first half of this week and then we will decide on the couch hopefully the second half of this week or next weekend. All right, super quick outfit of the day. This is what I'm wearing. So I've got my black totem trousers on. I've got Dear Francis boots. I've got this one from Awesome Iris, Sax Pots, jacket, and just a really simple black bag. I'm just heading to GGPR this morning in South Yarra to do a little showing and to see the new Vic and Woods winter collection, which should be really good. It's actually so nice to have a showing in real life because pretty much everything has been over Zoom for the last 18 months or so. Together, obsessed together. with the green yeah gorgeous oh my god yeah it's beautiful oh, this bag is so nice tied. yeah like, remember at the show she had it tied. you could either do it yeah. two buttons undone or yeah. untie the whole thing and do the knot oh i love it so twice a day i see one sunshine and then when the Yeah, 
out at like 4am because I couldn't stop thinking about all the things that I need to get done today. So I decided I may as well just get up and get started on everything and that way I wouldn't need to be stressed anymore. My voice obviously sounds really croaky because this is the first time that I'm talking today and I also just opened up my window because I want to hopefully see the sunrise. So anyways, let's get to work. like 8 a.m. now or something like that and I'm just getting ready to go and meet my friend Chris for breakfast this morning. As I'm sure you guys can imagine I'm very tired today. I think in the end I had maybe like two and a half hours of sleep or something so it's going to be a very long day but we are going to get through it so I'm just going to dry my hair, get dressed and yeah head out. It's like 11 degrees at the moment so I'm definitely going to wear a coat. I'm just going to go with the Philippa Hag coat that I showed you in one of my recent videos. So it's a little bit later in the day and I'm going to an event this evening with Kiehl's and I'm actually going to be staying at the W Hotel, hence the suitcase. But anyways, let's go. So cold tonight. Look who I found along the way. <laughs> oh. Yes, very heavy. I can't see. There we go. Ooh, what a beautiful room. Should we do a very quick little room tour? Okay, so this is the mini bar. Fancy. This is the bed, obviously. Ooh, they gave me a little Kiehl's um, robe. What's this? To put, like, maybe you sit there and you can put your remote in it. Oh, it's a hat. Stuff. It's a hat. It's a hat. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. Like... I don't, I don't get it, but it's cool. It's art. Yeah. It's art. <laughs> it's not a design feature. It's kind of freaking me out a little bit. Yeah, it's kind of freaking I me out. I like it went into the, the upside down. Yes. Oh my God, seriously. So nice. I'm just going to wash my makeup off and start again because I've had this makeup on since like 8 a.m. this morning. <laughs> literally nowhere my makeup looks so good and then I go to do it for an actual event and I completely screw up both my eyes I feel like this is some of the worst makeup that I've ever done in my entire life but I think it's working for me tonight so we're just gonna go with it my lips look ridiculous I don't know why they look like that right now I'm not really sure um, I'm just gonna try and fix my hair and hope that fixes my life Okay, this is my outfit of the night. You guys have seen this dress before. It's from Rat and Boa. Got Chanel slingbacks. Gonna have a little Prada bag, and I think I'll wear a coat as well because it might get a bit cold. Breakfast. 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 Good morning, Nico. This looks good. This looks real good. Looks nice. That was a lot of sugar. Mm. How's the juice? Mm. Slow down, bring the 
Hello. Okay, so it's a little bit later in the day and I'm just in the city at the moment as I had to run a few errands. I actually need to get a new passport, not that I'm technically traveling anywhere anytime soon, but I just need to renew it, so I've just been sorting that out. And while I was in the city, I also thought I might as well get my nails done. I went with blue. I don't know why, I was just like feeling like having blue nails. I don't really like to get shellac anymore because it literally ruins your nails. So instead, I just got my nails painted, but yeah, that means I have to like not touch anything for like an hour now, which is really annoying. amazing and obviously I should just wait till I get home to eat but we know that I don't know how to do that so I'm gonna just eat it in my car and instead just make like a huge mess everywhere oh my days it is amazing mm. Mm. hello I just got home and I got this delivery from Louisa via Roma while I was out so I actually think it's gonna have quite a few home decor sort of things in it because I sort of ordered a couple of them and I've sort of been waiting for it to come. basket thing which is from the brand firm living and i just thought it would look really cute with like an indoor plant in it i'm sure you guys already know i'm gonna have so many indoor plants in this next place like it's going to be pretty much a forest so i need to buy a lot of little cute things to put my plants in this next piece is also from firm living and it's a little lamp pretty much it's going to look like this once i put it together oh my god it is so cute i love this and I guess this just sits on top like that. Oh, that is so, so cute. Oh my God, I'm really, really excited about this. All right, so the next piece is this throw blanket, which is from Tekla. And they've described the color as mint gray, but I would say it's sort of more of like a beige color. It's kind of hard to tell in the sliding, especially because it's so blue right now in my room. But yeah, it's sort of like a beigey color and I figured it was relatively neutral enough that it would go with whatever space I create in our new place. So yeah, got that. And the last home thing I got was this really nice rug, which is also from Firm Living. And I thought it would look really good in our new bathroom. So yep, there's that. And the last thing that I got from Louisa V. Roma, this one is not really a home thing, it's actually just to wear. It's his cardigan, which is from Garni. And as you guys know, I've been loving blue at the moment. I also have been loving cardigans, but all the cardigans that I've been adding to my wardrobe have been really thin. So I sort of needed a thicker one to wear in winter. So this one's 100% wool. It's really thick, really warm. And yeah, got it in a size small. I think it's very cute. Anyways, hope you guys liked that little unboxing. It wasn't really a lot. I'll obviously be getting a lot more stuff once we move into the new place and everything. And I'm sort of like trying to hold off on buying decor things. I want to actually get the bigger ticket items sorted out first. So that way I can sort of create the space around them, which is why I haven't really been buying that much stuff. Literally could not wait a one more month to use this ceramic basket. So I've already swapped it out from the other one and put this one in. And while I was doing that, I just realized that there's a new leaf that's growing on my plant. <laughs> I'm so excited. This is the first indoor plant that I've ever owned and I've been taking such good care of it. I've been watering it once a week. I've been moving it around so that it faces the sun at different directions. And I've just been doing like all the right things, I think. So to see this come up is very exciting. <laughs>